Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for joining me. So today's a bit of a different one for you and I've been obsessed with it since this morning. <laughs> I have been non-stop watching these videos. So it was suggested to me over on Instagram to react to dumpster diving. For those of you who aren't familiar, dumpster diving is, is pretty much how it sounds. It's people diving into dumpsters or just their hands and seeing what they can find. Now, people do this a lot with um, food, things like that, but I specifically want to look at beauty products because the things people find is incredible. And also we're gonna look at this from two different point of views. Is it good, is it bad? As somebody who used to work in retail, I think I can explain some things. Um, yes, let's get into it. But first of all, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Let's look at some videos. Let's get the gist. So first of all, sorry, this is someone called Glamour Dive over on Instagram, who also has a YouTube channel who I, I have been watching. Incredible, it's like a it's like a haul, but different. So I think we're gonna have to talk over this because Miley Cyrus's flowers in the background, but she's basically saying she's found this huge box full of hair accessories, makeup, um, some stuff I didn't know AOA sold in stores, I just thought it was online, but this is that whole brand. Now some of these are in their original packaging, there's also hair things here, what looks like garter belts for some reason, and she even finds things like socks, ribbons, bows, these other pieces that she pulled out in their original packaging still, and I do believe she then goes on to donate some of these things to women's shelters and things like that. Now if you don't know why brands would um, throw away big boxes of things like this or unused products. A lot of the time, from somebody who works in beauty retail, we would throw away a lot of product. One of the reasons being is because the people with the high ups in that company do not want their staff putting things aside to then throw out later on. They can just go in the bin and find it and take it out again and you know, they could have kept a, a new product aside or something like that. And if they're gonna throw it out new in its packaging, a lot of people will be like, well, what's the point of throwing out brand new product? I'll just take it. But for some reason, a lot of companies do not want their staff to take it. And I see from that perspective that maybe, yes, they might hold things aside. Um, but also it's kind of like these people work for you. Give them an allowance, let them choose five things, you know, from the, I don't know. Things like socks and ribbons and bows, I don't really understand. You can throw them like a bargain bin and sell them for like a dollar or a pound each, you know? So this is quite a successful dump dumpster dive. There's quite a good few things there in their packaging still, reusable, anyone can use them and look recently thrown out. Let's take a look at this one. There's a few things in there that you can see. For example, that Jaclyn Hill palette was being thrown out. One, because one of the pans was smashed, but that could have happened as it, been, as it was being thrown away. But more than likely, and again, this is something we used to do in beauty retail a lot, is because the packaging had a smudge on it and it couldn't come off. So that was being thrown away instead of donated or even just put on display as a tester. Actually, Morphe are probably just shutting everything down, right? Oh God, imagine how much stuff was thrown away. A lot of their testers would have, been, would have been thrown away. Now, in my personal opinion, I don't mind dumpster diving. Is it kind of stealing? It's not really because the company have thrown it away. I don't know, let me know what you think of that thing. Cause I know there's a few different perspectives, but in my opinion, if something is gonna be thrown away, no one's gonna use it anyway. It's gonna get messed up. Let someone actually use it. Donate it to someone who needs it, who doesn't care maybe. Not a lot of people care about maybe one pan beige is like completely, at ruined, you know, and the rest is absolutely fine. No one really cares that there's a smudge on the packaging, but here's where you have to be a little bit careful, right? Let's watch this together and I'll kind of give my opinions. So this is Stacey Marie, which again, I've been watching a few of their videos this morning. This one in particular though, I did want to touch on a few things from a beauty retail standard point of view even. Hey guys, I'm at Ulta. I'm finally finding some suit boxes. I haven't found any in a while. 
So we're gonna take those and there might be some makeup in here. Hey guys, so I'm home. I got five suit boxes from Ulta today. And I also got some like single makeup that I found in those little bags that I showed you. Uh, it's Too Faced Better Than Chocolate. Let's see. Ooh, just one broken shade. Yeah, well, uh, maybe two. Face Born This Way Sunset Stripped. Ooh, that's gorgeous. And then we found some loose makeup. Here's a MAC product. Let's see. There's some kind of powder in there. What is this? Studio Fix Powder Foundation. Okay. And then let's see if these bronzers by Too Faced are still intact. They're definitely a little dirty. I have to sanitize everything. This is the box that I had the loose makeup in. And I think there's going to be a few more things. We have an Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Still pretty heavy. Here's the little score so far. The brushes. I think one's an It Cosmetics and one is a Morphe. Something outside. Uh, this is ooh, Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base. So let's see how much is in there. That is completely full. I'm like so excited you guys. I have not found intact makeup in months. Experience with makeup and dumpster diving. I don't really use lip products anymore. Well, liquid lipsticks and stuff like that. Okay, this bag had some weight and I'm seeing some more Estee Lauder. So give me a second. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, Estee Lauder. Okay, let's pause it there and let me tell you about a few things. Let's start with this uh, freeze frame here. More than likely what's happened in this video and from again working in retail for so long somebody has gone up to the display of Estee Lauder foundations. You can see they all have a tester sticker on them and they've taken them down and swapped them out for new ones. That's why the box is in there. You can see there's a black line through the barcode which means it's, you can't resell it. There's no accident there of reselling um, a used product or a tester. It's been written off as a tester. Um, and they've basically replaced the whole Estee Lauder thing so it looks nice and fresh and new. And some of these testers look very old and very gross. Let's talk about the powders. The MAC powders are hard pan on top, which you can actually scrape off. But the thing with that is, that has either come from a few things. Someone's facial oils, where people have been touching it with their finger, trying to swatch it. It's It's got wet in some way, but you don't know where that wetness has come from. Same with all the things like, you know, eyeshadows and things like that. A lot of the products in this video look like very used and worn out testers. Now, these can be cleaned, but I do have to... There's something about this which I don't... I love watching these videos, by the way. And of course, it's personal preference. To me, I wouldn't personally use these because they look so use if that makes sense not being snobby but because let me tell you something and i can't remember where the study was i have to find it but somebody went into a makeup store and i believe it was a mac store because it was the most popular at the time not saying this is all max and they took little samples from powders lipsticks eyeshadows from the testers right and then they put them in little things and took them away to go under a microscope and and see what was happening Two of the main biggest things that were found on these products were blood and sperm, semen, were found on these testers. Now, I don't care how much you sanitize a product, that's not going on my face. Someone's blood and semen is not going on my face. I'm sure there's a brand somewhere that will sell that to you in, in the cream, but I do not want that on my face from an eyeshadow or from a powder. So from looking at these two, we have one extreme where everything is brand new, packed up, looks good. And then we have another example where everything actually looks at the end of its life. You will have to be squeezing that product out. Um, listen, I respect the craft. I respect it. <laughs> and that was, that was a good find. And there, there seems to be a good few products in there. Me personally, I would just be very careful. And I know it's sanitized. I know you can spray it. I know you can clean it all. But at the same time, how far down does it go, you know?
heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Here's the thing, we can't blame the person in the video for that because it's um, it's just what they make you do in retail. Brands really do not want anyone to have a product for free. And I think with the rise of dumpster diving, I have seen a few things about it before. People that get some really good finds. That is really painful to watch perfectly good products being completely wasted and such places like that. There was a place I worked which wasn't makeup where we did have to damage products. When they were damaged, we would have to further damage them. Because if they were just a little bit broken, they weren't damaged enough. <laughs> okay, went out dumpster driving. First time I've ever, ever hit at Ulta where it wasn't tore up. And most of it, look, is sealed. I have got every kind of concealer, foundation, all of it it's in this one too these are all lipsticks pencils it look sealed has not been opened over here i got body shimmers i got highlights i've got powder look as you can see it is sealed not been used same thing with the highlighters and palettes galore and more foundation and concealer and you name it it's in here listen we are so wasteful as a as human beings that this doesn't bother me <laughs> i know it may bother some people but seeing people reuse things if they want to do it is absolutely fine by me you know what i mean i just just be careful i always give that example especially lip products a lot of those were sealed up which is good but if they're not i always use that example of a one girl i worked with who used a lipstick just didn't sanitize it just picked it up a display used it and this thing just grew across her face, down thing, like uh, over a few weeks and it scarred her. Just be really careful. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise in the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Personally, if I was dumpster diving and I saw, I mean, that looks battered. And Lion Crime is an old, old brand. <laughs> Still around, but some of those things, how long has anyone not been interested in them? Like that kind of, I would be a little bit on edge about this. Let's watch this, because this is, this says, do not dumpster dive. Let's see what they have to say. Let's talk about all these people that are dumpster diving at Ulta and other makeup stores. I worked at Ulta for years. First of all, dumpster diving in general is so gross those dumpsters are filled with germs and bacteria and animal poop and human poop and everything you can think of that's absolutely disgusting is in those dumpsters ulta employees are required to damage out things that have been used because you never know what happened to them or what someone had who used them personally i damaged out testers where i saw someone had an eye infection put the tester on their eye then put it back on the shelf and when we damaged stuff we damaged it we would literally pour bleach and other chemicals on it to ruin it because we were supposed to. Do not dumpster dive for makeup. It is disgusting and it will give you an infection and maybe a disease. Don't do it. Not to mention it's illegal some places. So, okay, so I do have to agree. There are so many, again, there's that reason why you break things because of health and safety reasons. People do some weird stuff with testers, let me tell you. I've seen testers be in places where makeup doesn't need to be. I'm still gonna hang around and dumpster diving TikTok and Instagram and YouTube for a little while because I do find it fascinating and it is almost like a treasure hunt, you know what I mean? I personally wouldn't... I think I would go with somebody and, and like join in the dumpster diving and help them find stuff. I don't think I would keep any of it personally. One, because I have hoarding tendencies and I don't want to get addicted. Um, but two, because I have so much crap around anyway, and I wouldn't feel personally safe using a product I found in a dumpster. Oh, it's really raining. But I don't judge in any way the people that do. You do what you need to do. If someone's not using it, you're using it, good for you. Just be careful, be safe, sanitize everything, the packaging, wipe it down, peel off the stickers, sanitize underneath. Just make sure everything is clean and maybe just go for ones that are packaged intact, you know? All right, I would love to know your opinion on this down below. Consider subscribing, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.